Thanks for joining me, everyone, for another episode of Cabin Fever Faith, where I try to link the uh, something with the outdoors with our faith itself. Um, yeah, I'm sitting on a bench here in our prayer garden here, here at St. Paul's, and it's a beautiful garden, if you can see. Um, yeah, it, uh, it's a good place to pray. If you ever get a chance, come out here. It's, it's for people to enjoy and just find comfort, and I'm sitting on this uh, nice little bench we got here. But anyway, um, yeah, this episode of, of Cabin Fever Faith uh, might appeal more for the ladies, but you know, guys, you might learn something as well. And I'm entitling this one, A Rose is a Rose is a Rose. And that's why I have a rose in my hand. And that quote comes from a lady by a, a name of Gertrude Stein, who wrote the poem, Sacred Emily. And I think in essence, what she's saying is, you know, you hear people say it is what it is. And I think that's the essence of what she's trying to get at. Um, life is what it is. But let's talk about a rose and let's talk about the deeper meaning. Let's talk about the first level of rose. Well, a rose uh, obviously is a flower. And it's a beautiful one at that. It comes in, a, in many different colors and they smell great. And um, yeah, it's a beautiful flower. It, it, and people often give roses as a sign of expression of their appreciation and love uh, for those who are very important to them. And, you know, often in Valentine's Day or or anniversaries or wedding anniversaries and, and birthdays and so forth. So they make a wonderful gift. It's a beautiful flower. But a rose is a rose. In other words, roses have thorns, right? As beautiful as a flower is, it has thorns. And so you can see there's a thorn. Let's see right here. Uh, let's see. There's a thorn right there. And I'm standing in front of a rose bush in our garden here. And you can see all the thorns on that rose bush. And you can see this. there's one little rose left over there. You know, and those thorns serve a purpose. They protect the beauty of the rose um, from someone who would probably destroy the plant, take the flower, whatever it is. And uh, so that's, a rose wouldn't be a rose without its thorns. And in fact, I think there's a rock song that says, every rose has its thorn. But a rose is a rose is a rose. So let's take it to the third level. You know, a rose is not only a beautiful plant that happens to have thorns, it's also a beautiful metaphor for life and love in general. You know, life has its beauty. It has its grace like a rose, but it, life also has its difficulties, its thorns. And so does love. Um, that's and that difficulty is there, and you might sense, say it to protect the love, right? In any relationship, um, if the love is important, uh, it's going to be difficult at times because that, that keeps love from being uh, insincere. It keeps love genuine when, when those thorns appear in love. And love takes sacrifice. Um, we know all about that with, with Jesus on the cross, right? Uh, you can't have joy and peace and love without some kind of sacrifice. So, so um, yeah, so the thorns metaphorically really protect the love um, and the beauty uh, of life. And um, that's there. And even in marriage, you can apply that, right? Uh, those thorns keep it genuine, keep that love real between husbands and wives and so forth. So, yeah, Jesus died on the cross. Love takes sacrifice. We know that. In Paul's letter to the Corinthians, he says, without love, we're, we're nothing. Love hopes all things, believes all things, um, endures all things. Love never fails. But it also takes a bit of sacrifice on our part. You know, I think it was Matthew Kelly once said that, um, yeah, uh, roses are beautiful, but roses have thorns. I'd rather live in a world with roses than in a world without he also said, people are beautiful, but people have thorns. I'd rather live in a world with people than a world without. And that says a lot about the mystery of life and, and love as, as we know it. And uh, yeah, the ups and downs of relationships and even our connection to God. So every rose has its thorn, but it protects the beauty and keeps, it, keeps love and life genuine in our life. So 
yeah, if you get a chance, uh, come check out our prayer garden here at Church of St. Paul. Uh, we've had this made, and we've got our green team who kind of keeps uh, keeps this garden going. And right now, it's getting close to the end of the seed growing season, and and they, uh, you know, kind of putting things away. There's another beautiful flower. I don't know what kind of flower this is, but it's still beautiful, right? But roses are my favorite. By the way, that's where the word rosary comes from, roses to Mary, to honor Mary, the mother of God. And um, yeah, so uh, think of that when you're praying the rosie, as, as we as Catholics do, to try to honor uh, Jesus' mother and her important role in salvation as well. So keep the roses in your life, in your hand, and don't let the beauty of the rose overshadow the fact that it does have thorns, but don't let the thorns overshadow the fact that there's beauty in life and love, and it does take sacrifice, but anything worth having uh, is worth uh, a little sacrifice on our part. So, Father Leroy Shiro signing off on this episode of Cabin Fever Faith. Let's keep praying those rosaries. Let's start living those rosaries in our life and uh, keep the faith alive and love as well, protected and honored as God would like. Thank you.